So who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Sinan Aral at the NYU Stern School of Business. You gave a really, really fantastic presentation about uh, viral content and sort of how, if you can actually isolate the mechanics within the content and within the construct of the site that's allowing it to happen. Explain what you're trying to prove and what your results were. So the research is about viral product design, and the question is just, can firms engineer products so they're more likely to go viral? So they're more likely to be shared amongst peers, and so there's contagion in the diffusion process of the product. And so we did a very large randomized trial of this on Facebook, uh, and we tested whether adding certain viral features to a product will increase its diffusion uh, in the consumer population. Uh, and we found some really interesting results. We, and those results are? Right. So we found basically that, uh, indeed, viral product design works. That's the first result. Firms can increase the uh, adoption of a product by four or 500 uh, percent by doing some simple design principles to a product to make it go viral. So what would be those simple design principles? So. Uh, the two that we test in this paper are adding invite features and broadcast notification features to the product. And so invites uh, give individual users the ability to invite their friends to the product. And personal uh, broadcast notifications uh, notify peers of an adopting user that the user is using this product and uh, what they're doing on that product. And it actually uh, has, is analogous, for instance, with uh, someone sending a personal letter inviting you to adopt a product or, for instance, wearing a t-shirt that indicates that they have adopted the product. And so a logo on a t-shirt, you can think about that as a broadcast notification, whereas a personal invitation would be uh, a letter to a friend saying, boy, you should really buy this pair of shoes. Was there anything really surprising from the results? Yeah, what was uh, most surprising, two basic uh, results that were really surprising. The first is that we really thought that the active personalized features and messages were going to be more effective than the broadcast, untargeted, unpersonalized messages. But what we found was actually that although the active personalized messages are more effective per message, that there's a lot less of them sent because it has a, takes a lot of time and energy of the user to send these messages. And so although they're more effective per message, the broadcast features were more globally effective at generating product adoption in the consumer network. So that was the first surprising result. So, but how does that compare to like a broadcast message through a social network versus just a big email marketing campaign? How is that different? So, in fact, we find that viral product design is way more effective at generating conversions than traditional email campaigns, marketing campaigns, uh, banner ads on Facebook, and banner ads on the web. Uh, uh, tremendously more effective than any of these traditional marketing strategies. Give me the numbers on that. Yes. You, they were pretty shocking. Yeah, so uh, a conversion rate per broadcast notification of 2% a conversion rate of 6% for an invitation compared to click-through rates, which are typically much, much larger than conversion rates. Uh, so compared to con uh, click-through rates for email campaigns of 2 to 5%, for Facebook book banner ads of 0.07%, and for uh, traditional banner ads on the web of 0.1 to 0.2%. So dramatically more effective. Viral product design is dramatically more effective than these traditional channels. Did you, you were just focused on product design. You didn't actually look at what was inherent in actual content itself, correct? Actually, we uh, kept the content constant over all of the users so that we could just isolate the effect of the viral features. Uh, it's likely that the content also matters, and we're looking into what types of viral content or what types of product content are likely to make a product go viral. But we actually had uh, a second really unexpected result, which is important for marketers to understand. It's basically that as the invite features and the broadcast features cause peer adoption, it actually sustainably increases the engagement 
and use of the product by the sender of the invites and notifications, which is fascinating. So basically it reduces customer churn to add invite features that encourage a person's friends to also adopt the product. And the reason for this is because of network externalities. I get more value from the product as my friends use the product. So enabling features on the product that generate peer adoption, my friends adopting the product, make me more likely to use the product in a sustained and engaged way and make me less likely to churn. And the reason why this is important is because it creates a virtual feedback loop. The more I enable viral features, the more my friends adopt the product. The more my friends adopt the product, the more I stick with and use the product. The more I stick with and use the product, the more viral messages are sent from the product and the more of my peers adopt. And this generates an engine of viral contagion which can really spread a product like wildfire in a consumer network.